welcome back to the channel guys it is me 8744 so today guys it is time for the mls playoff games man i am so excited for these games guys i'm gonna try to watch every single match that i possibly can there will be some games i won't be able to watch the full games of you know because i have other occupations other things to do i will definitely try to check out as much as i can it's gonna be very awesome i want to know your guys predictions in the comments below guys we're only going through round one though in this video though and we're gonna do the semifinals and final maybe i'll do it off stream and um off video sorry and let you guys know off camera and show you how this ages and yeah like i said guys we're gonna go ahead and do this man we're gonna go ahead and do this man so actually should we do the entire thing Nah, I don't think we're going to do the entire thing. I don't think we'll do the entire thing. I think that'll be a bit too long indeed. Okay, so we're going to do my match by match. There will be times in the description below. And let's start with the first match we got here is... Should we start the Western or Eastern? Let's start the Western since on the left side. And then we'll do the Eastern matchups later. So let's start with the first match. we got St. Louis City uh, versus Sporting Kansas City, guys. So for this match, guys, I think for me it's going to be interesting because St. Louis City have been amazing. Like, I've been really impressed with them. This is a club that just got promoted for the first season in the MLS, and they're top of the table, which is insane. Now, remember, guys, this is two-legged. Even a third round could happen. That's only if it goes to – that's only if it's tied, though. So my thing is that how will this pan out? Because St. Louis City are in unfamiliar territory, you know? Um, they have some good players. Um, obviously, Berkey is our most standout. The guy has been incredible. Shot stopper, we know. Obviously, he used to play for Dortmund in the Champions League. The Guichina. There's always some other notable players. Those are the, some of the most notable, though. Sporting Kansas City, I'll be really honest with you. They sh they should have won against um, San Jose Earthquakes by a bigger margin. I wasn't that impressed. And even though they got the job done, I wasn't really that impressed with them. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's going to be interesting. So, for this one, guys, I'm going to go with St. Louis City to advance here on this one. I've not really been that convinced with Sporting Kansas City. That being said, though, the second leg is, I believe, a Sporting Kansas. So, if Sporting Kansas can get a draw away or lose just by a small margin, then they could maybe win the second leg, and that would be enough for them to advance. But ultimately, though, I think St. Louis City are just too much quality. I think they're just too good. So, I'm going to go with St. Louis City to advance. Next up, it is Houston Dynamo versus Real Salt Lake. This was another interesting one, guys, because we know how good Houston are. Of course, they won the MLS. Um, they won the Cup, you know, against Inter Miami. And they were playing away. They were playing away as well, which is commendable. And I know Messi didn't play the game, so I know people are going to come up with that excuse. But for me, they thoroughly deserve it. They were amazing in the game, you know. You have some good players like Hector Herrera, who is amazing in his own right. And I just was really impressed with Houston Dynamo. They're a very, very fun team to watch. They're very hectic as well very chaotic as well very very crazy because the thing with houston dynamo is that i feel like they're a good team it's just that they can't close off matches very well that is my one concern i have with houston dynamo is that because in that final in particular they should have won the game by a bigger margin it's just that they allowed inter Miami to get back in the game there was some hope for a comeback and that's my issue with them is that especially in a two-legged playoff you need to ensure that you win this uh, you win by a big score line you don't want to lead you don't want to have it being like dominate you win the game 3-2 you know that's not great you know so like i said car scalia is also another player to look out for he's been amazing i really like that guy and i think houston dynamo is a very very underrated team then we have real salt lake i'm not really that impressed with real salt lake to be honest with you guys they have some decent players of reno ruiz and yeah i think for houston dynamo man they should be advancing they should be advancing to this one and i expect them to win so i'm going to go houston dynamo versus st louis city which will be a very interesting matchup we'll, we'll obviously talk about that later in the you know, after the first round's done. Then we have LAFC versus Vancouver, guys. LAFC, man, the team to beat. Obviously, they won the MLS Cup last season. And this is still the team to beat, man. I mean, they still have some incredible players. Even though Gareth Bale is retired, you still have the likes of Carlos Vela that's still there, Chiellini that's still there, Aaron Long, you have Bugana, you know, the top goal scorer. And then you have Vancouver Whitecaps that have some decent players out of Group Bay, Laria, and Junior Hoylet. You know, some Canadian players there. And yeah, for me, LEFC should be winning those. I mean, they're just way too good at the moment. And as much as I don't want them to win, you know, for personal reasons, um, they're going to win this. They're going to win this matchup. So let's see if they can defend the crown, though. Next up, it is Seattle Sound versus the Dallas. In my opinion, this is the matchup that I'm very conflicted. This is a matchup that I can see go either way because Seattle Sounders is a really solid team, guys. I think they're actually one of the most underrated teams in the Western Conference. You have the likes of um, Christian Roldan, Ruiz. And Jordan Morris, and you have the other world on as well. And then you have FC Dallas. They have the players like Jesus Ferrer, Ariola, Legette. This is a difficult one, guys. This is a difficult one. 
This might be a hot take here, and I might get some hate in the comments below, but I'm going to go with FC Dallas. Because my thing is that I think the second leg being at Dallas is a huge advantage. Had it been the other way around, I probably would have gone Seattle Sounders. I just think that the second leg is going to be so huge. And I think for Seattle Sounders, this is a team that I feel like is a good team. They should be performing better, but I feel like they just let you themselves down. I mean, especially for what happened last season, they didn't make the playoffs. You know, that's probably because they were focusing everything on the Club World Cup, which is understandable. But, like, that tanked their season. You know, you will know. So, I just think for this one, Seattle should win this one. But I feel like there's going to be an upset. So, I'm going to go with FC Dallas to prevail on this one, guys. And this will be very interesting, guys. So, interesting here. And, of course, you know, there's usually upsets in every uh, in these rounds. So, you know, it's going to be interesting. Next up, it is Cincinnati versus Red Bull. New York Red Bulls, guys. So this is going to be interesting, guys, for this one, guys. Cincinnati, of course, they the, they won the Eastern Conference. You know, they were amazing this season. You know, obviously, they have some good players like Acosta, Miazga, and Brandon Vasquez. You know, they're a very good team. Then we have Red, New York Red Bulls. Why is it RB and Y there in the bracket? Anyways, um, you know, they have some good players, New York Red Bulls. Um, they have Tolkien, that left back, who's amazing. Manuel, Burke as well. It's a very solid team. It's a very, a very young team, man. And they're really dangerous in set pieces. That's what I noticed when we, they played against Charlotte, of course. You guys know I did did that match reaction. You guys can check it out. I think FC Cincinnati have too much quality. I think they simply do. And I'm going to go Cincinnati to advance on this one. I think they should. Although, that being said, though, I think the second leg is in New York, which could be interesting. Next up, it is Philadelphia Union versus New England Revolution, guys. Philadelphia Union, man, I was not that impressed with them this season. I don't think they were as good as I would expect them to be. They still had a good season, though, nonetheless. You know, they still, uh, you know, obviously reached the playoffs. You know, you have Andre Blake, who's a good goalkeeper. Then you have Gazdag, who's very, very good. And then you have Uri as well. And then for um, New England Revolution, man, you know, you have um, Vasilik, Jones, Kay, and Wood. So... This one, man, I think Philadelphia Union should do this. You know, they were very close in the last few seasons. You know, they reached the semi, they reached the final, and then obviously reached the semifinals. So I think for Philadelphia Union, they have enough quality, and I expect them to advance on this one, and they should. So I think I'm going to go with them to advance. Next up, it is a very difficult one, guys. These two matchups are really difficult to call. Then we have Columbus Crew versus Atlanta United, guys. It's a very difficult one to call, guys, because Columbus Crew, for me, is a very solid team. I think they were the most underrated teams in the eastern conference you know they have some good players like rossi kuchu ramirez and atlanta united man you have brad guzan almeida and robinson my issue with atlanta united though is i feel like defensively at times it can be very bad and that's where my concern is because i've seen a few times a season where i think inter miami played against them they smashed them four nil and then they played against columbus crew and columbus crew smashed them six one the mls and even though atlanta united have the player thiago almeida I don't think he alone is going to be enough. I don't think he alone is going to be enough. I think Columbus crew just have too much quality. And I think I'm going to go with them to advance on this one, guys. Okay. So next up, it is the final matchup we have here. It is Orlando City versus Nashville, guys. Orlando City versus Nashville, guys. This is a very interesting one, guys. Orlando City obviously have some good players. You have Gaiz, Torres, and Golo. And then obviously for Nashville, man, they have obviously uh, Zimmerman, Muko. Mukatar and Lovitz. This is a very difficult one because Nashville, of course, we made, they know we made the League's Cup final. They were very good in that. At the Orlando City, they made it to the they um went in the round they went out the round of sixteen, I think. So, it's a difficult one, guys. It's a difficult one because Nashville just about squeezed through the playoffs. Um, I'm gonna go with Nashville though. I feel like they have the tenacity and the experience, and I think the second leg. Being in Nashville, I think, could be significant. So, I'm going to go with them to advance, but it's very close. So, I could see Orlando City definitely doing it. So, those are my MLS predictions, guys. I want to know your predictions in the comments below, guys. This was really, really fun and exciting. And definitely, we're going to be doing this again for the um, the semifinals, of course. So, I want to know your guys' predictions in the comments below, guys. Remember, guys, to like and subscribe. And, yeah, tell me your thoughts in the comments below, guys. And, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out. And, remember, guys, to like and subscribe. Check out my other pop description below.